I try to like figure out sounds of, you know, the basses and when you hear recordings and, and, and music and figure out what bass that is, you know? And then I figured out the sound I really wanted and finally got a Fender Precision bass. And I was like, that's it. And it's, it's such a different sound from the jazz bass. It's more like a, like a, it's more of an attack to it. And it really just suit our music well. When I started playing the P bass, I fell in love with it. I don't think you can, any bass can beat that bass. I think it's the best bass out there, for sure. The feel of the Jag, it's, uh, it's, it's got both the uh, best worlds of the jazz and the P bass. And, and you know, I could I play about three songs with it right now. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to go into the studio here soon. And I'm sure I'll be using it quite a bit. Yeah, so now I use the Fender Super Bassman, 300 watt. And it's running through, uh, I run two 8x10s. And uh, just the sound, the combination of the P bass and that Super Bassman gives me the, the actual tone I want. It's got a, it's kind of got that vintage sound to it, but also get the attack that I want. I don't know, it's just like a, I guess it's a, it's a reissue of an older model. So still, I just, I love that vintage sound that it puts out. I think Fender has been a big part of the Cage Element sound since the very beginning. So, I mean, that's all I, that's all I ever use. On, we're getting ready to go on into the studio and fourth album, and I'm still using Fender. So definitely it's a real big part of the Cage Elephant sound. Mm -hmm. 